Hey everybody, welcome back to Recordology. Okay, this is the most expensive turntable that I've ever reviewed on this show. This is the Audio-Technica LP7. Now, I don't say that in a bragging way. I say that out of a collective sense of amazement because this show is really about entry-level products. We've reviewed new record players for as low as $32. This thing goes for $799 on Amazon. So, if you're ready to make a major investment in your turntable setup, if you really wanna jump into this with both feet, this may be the turntable for you. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox it, review it, test it out, talk about it, and enjoy this whole experience together and welcome this newest addition to the Recordology family. You're not gonna to wanna to miss this. This is Recordology. Okay, everybody, and here we go. This is the ATLP7. This is Audio-Technica's flagship turntable. This is the best of the best for Audio-Technica. Now, Audio-Technica, as you know, they're famous for their headphones and their turntable cartridges. So this is going to be a treat. I really have not found an Audio-Technica product so far that I don't like. Everything they do is high quality. It's just good stuff, period. Now, here's a shot of the accessories, by the way. They pack it into the side foam pieces, which I think is really, really smart. I wanted to mention too, I am not sure who Audio-Technica is using for their production partner with this unit. I have no idea, but it really doesn't matter because the product that is delivered at the end of the day is the only thing that matters. So let's dig into this and see what we got here. And working this out of the box is kind of tricky. It was in there super, super tight, so it took me a while. Now I know this may sound silly, but even the cardboard box was high quality. I mean, they really pack it well and they pack it smartly so that when it comes to you, when it arrives to you, it is ready to go, it is protected. Also worth mentioning, there's no retail packaging on this because this isn't something you're just gonna see on the store shelf. You're gonna order this, it's gonna be shipped to you directly, so there's no need for retail packaging on this. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take out all of the accessories here. Be very careful when you do this, especially with the head shell assembly, which I'm taking apart right now because it's very delicate, very gentle. That's a major part of the investment. So here they are. We've got the head shell and cartridge assembly. We've got an awesome metal 45 RPM adapter. We've got the counterbalance and we've got the power supply. It does have an external DC power supply. So the wall wart is a part of the package. I wish I had a built-in transformer, but it is what it is. Here's the manual. It's a full-sized book. Definitely hold on to that. There's a lot of valuable information, very well laid out, step-by-step -step instructions, as well as the rubber belt for the platter, which I'm gonna to get to in a minute, so don't throw that away. Okay, let's go ahead and unpack the rest of it here. The dust cover, I'm gonna set that aside for a second. It's a gorgeous dust cover. And then the unit itself with an anti-static plastic wrap here. We can set these foam pieces aside. Make sure you keep the packaging material if you can, because it's the best way to store and transport this unit if you're moving down the road or you're gonna store it for whatever reason. Okay, let's take off this foam cling wrap that is on this unit, and this is the dust cover. It is gorgeous, a smoked plastic. You'll notice there's no hinges on it because this unit just sits right on top. It's like a cap. And um, I don't show it again in the video, but the turntable looks great with that dust cover on. Okay, let's look at the platter here, guys. This platter is hefty. It is super heavy. That is a 20 millimeter thick anti-resonance polyzymethylene platter, and it is heavy and solid. Why do you need such a hefty platter? It's all about inertia. So as it gets going, it wants to stay in motion. Things in motion tend to stay in motion, and it's kind of like a train. It's hard to stop a train because of the inertia and the weight. The reason why that's important is any electric motor, such as the one on any turntable, doesn't matter how good of a turntable it is, is going to have speed fluctuations with that motor. You want your platter to be hefty so that it doesn't respond to every one of those variations, therefore giving you a more even speed and therefore a very even tone and quality sound reproduction versus one that's warbly. So that really helps to eliminate wow and flutter. 
I was surprised to see this. It's a super high gauge, hefty audio cable. It is grounded, which is great. So a lot of preamps will have a grounding post. So if your turntable has one as well, it's really good and can help eliminate that hum. By the way, you saw me touching this fabric. This is an amazing like t-shirt, almost cottony fabric cover. And it is big enough, I found out later, to go over the turntable with the dust cover on. Definitely save this, you guys. A very soft material. And by the way, is this not the most gorgeous looking turntable you've ever seen? It is beautiful. And the big reveal is amazing. It says it's an MDF plinth, but this thing feels like it's coated or clad in some sort of metal. I was really surprised to hear it was MDF because it's heavy and it feels metallic. Okay, on the back here, we've got a couple of things. We've got the phono and line switch. That is the built-in preamp. Left and right audio outputs. An MM and MC switch. I'll talk about that in a minute. A grounding post and power as well. Now, MM and MC. So that's moving magnetic or moving coil. Those are the types of cartridges that you can use with this. We're going to be using moving magnetic. That is the vast majority of cartridges out there. And here's a look at the underside, you guys. Just beautiful industrial design. It feels professional the way it's put together here's the feet they're adjustable they've got a nice swivel a good sticky surface very simple operation this is the power and speed selector switch hard to see from this angle but there's a nice blue light right on the back there that lights up when it's powered up it is a two-speed stereo turntable obviously these knobs and everything this is all metal there's the motor pulley just gorgeous very good detail there if you look really carefully you can see a lot of beveling and design features that are cool this is the tone arm it is a j-shaped tone arm similar to s it's angled to get that cartridge right into the groove but a little bit different design now pay special attention to this tone arm assembly you guys this is pro all the way beautiful and it makes a lot of sense i'll explain it here in a minute first let's place this platter on and the spindle right there in the middle looks like a bullet the thing is just sharp i mean it is super high quality there's little brass fittings i assume they're brass and it just looks gorgeous it's super hefty this thing is stable the speed stability is going to be huge which as we talked about before is super important but let's take a closer look at that cartridge so here is the cartridge that it comes with this is the vm 520 eb dual moving magnetic cartridge now this is a gorgeous and very well functioning cartridge as you can see it's got a little stylus protector here now out of the box this alone is about a hundred and sixty dollar cartridge and the stylus is about an eighty dollar replacement stylus but you get it included with this package this particular cartridge is known for excellent channel separation so especially with the headphones you get this gorgeous lush stereo sound stage okay before we can go too much further we really need to set up this tone arm but never fear i'm here to help you step through it if you take it step by step it's not difficult so let's carefully remove the packing materials little twisty ties little pieces of foam all things to make sure that your investment is well protected in transit and when you get it it's ready to go and it's showroom quality you guys again everything is metal it just feels high quality right out of the gate we haven't even listened to it yet so the first thing i want to show you is this cueing lever lift look at how this works you guys i think it's very unique how that little piece goes over there onto the rubber that's a smart way to do it and it feels really solid all right for the counterbalance we're going to want to start by floating the tone arm that means we're going to want to put that counterbalance on the back it just screws on but then we're going to find what's called the float point for the tone arm that's where it's kind of floating mid-air we're going to balance the front and back and so what we're going to want to make sure is that it doesn't go too far up and it doesn't go too far down on its own make sure the stylus guard is in place so you don't smash the stylus tip when you're doing this but once you find that perfect floating spot you're going to want to clip the tone arm back into the rest and there it is it's going down it's going up it means that we found that perfect spot so we're going to clip that down then we're going to move the little plastic outside ring actually it might be metal to zero so it's calibrated to zero that is completely zeroed out now. So what we want to do now is apply the correct amount of tracking force, which for this cartridge is two grams. 
Anytime you move your turntable, anytime you put in a new cartridge, you have to redo that. Also, we're gonna set the anti-skate for now to the same value, which is two. But check this out, guys. We can also set the VTA, or vertical tracking angle, of the tone arm itself. It should look just like this. It should be totally level, and that's how you know that that stylus is gonna be reading those grooves perfectly. Next, we're gonna verify the motor speed using a strobe disc. So look at this blue arrow right here. See this marking right here? See how it's still? That's indicating that it's spinning at 33 RPMs on the dot, and here is 45 RPMs. As I said, it's a two-speed turntable, and both speeds are locked in perfectly, which is super impressive right out of the box, you guys. That's awesome to see. Okay, now I just wanna stop for a minute and say how impressed I am so far with this thing. I haven't found any issues. It's great, it seems to be perfect so far. We haven't heard it yet, but no issues so far. All right, next we're gonna verify that anti-skate setting. If you remember, we matched it to two, which was the tracking force, which is what you should do. It should be pretty close to two, but we're gonna verify that. So I'm putting on a smooth, one-sided record. It's actually a platter mat with no grooves, and I'm spinning it at 33 RPM, and I'm placing the needle onto the surface, and the tone arm, as you can see, has a tendency to either pull to the inside or the outside. To set the anti-skate, all you have to do is rotate the anti-skate knob until it finds a spot where it doesn't want to drift inside or out. See how it's still? That record is still spinning, but it's solid. Okay, guys, it is calibrated. It's set up. We are ready to go. We're going to listen to a direct feed. This does require speakers. I want to mention that. So we're going to listen to a direct feed into the computer of this record player playing music. I wish I could play more, you guys, I really do, but because of the copyright thing on YouTube, I can't. I can only share small, small clips of that audio. I wish I could share more. I encourage you to go back and listen to some more of that. If you had your headphones on, which I hope you did, you're gonna notice a lot of channel separation. The stereo sound staging is gonna seem very, very wide, which is really fun to listen to. And by the way, check it out. No platter wobble whatsoever. This thing is solid as a rock. Guys, this is what playing a record is all about. This is a premium device. It feels like it. You can definitely tell a difference between this and something in the one to $200 range. And even some of the three and $400 turntables we've looked at, this beats it. It's a significant investment that's going to pay for itself in the long run because I bet this turntable is gonna last you a long time so it would be much better than having to replace your turntable every few years. Okay guys, I heartily endorse this product. It is the best, the finest turntable that I have ever got to play with, and I'm very thankful for the opportunity to present it to you today. How does this compare to the best turntable that you've ever played with? Tell me all about it in the comments below. I wanna hear everything you've got to say. Okay guys, I realize that $799 is a lot of money. And I also appreciate that not a lot of people can spend that on a record player. So if your involvement stops right here at this video, I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. But if you decide to or you can make a further investment in your vinyl listening experience, as you can see, this product is phenomenal. So this is definitely worth the investment if you can make it. And I would encourage you to do so if you decide this is really something you're interested in, something that you really want to pursue. But most of all, I hope you guys had fun with this video as much as I had fun putting it together for you. Now, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, share this out, tell your friends. We've got a lot of awesome content coming your way. I'm so excited for spring and summer to be here because there's so many cool things coming up, which you're not gonna wanna miss. But that's all for now, guys. Happy record hunting. We'll see you next time.